Hey guys, it is Rachie, and today I'm gonna be, well, not I'm gonna be, I am currently watching the Kurt, the Court Lady, I was just practicing Chinese, so I don't know what the heck word I was trying to say, but I'm currently watching the Court Lady, um, O to Daughter of Great Tongue, um, I watched like the trailers and I read the description and I think it it's like more of a comedy fit focused drama more so. I think I'm gonna like it because <clears throat> it's different than all the serious dramas I watch. And I do like things to switch up a little bit because all historical uh dramas don't need to be just all formal. So I think I'm gonna like this because what you call it, he's supposed to be playable. I think I've seen him in another, uh, Shukai. I think I've seen him in another drama. Oh, Story of Yan Xigong. Um, yeah, he was in Yan Xigong. And, yeah, I don't think I liked his character. I mean, well, more so I didn't like, um, the main character. She just irritated me. But, oh well. But I'll just read the little synopsis. And then, I didn't write any notes like, what you call it. What is the other drama I'm watching? Uh, oh, The Ballad. Um, I didn't write any notes because I kind of watched more of The Ballad. Because I think that one's going to be done first. And I started all these just last week. So, I'm trying to keep up with it so I can get my review on the time but I'm always like behind but there was a good moment in time where I was like on top of it but that was when drama fever was out but oh well but born in privilege as the son of one of the founding pillars of the, of the Tang Empire Shang Chu Mu has never had any desire to do more than enjoy the ease of his own life Yep, you can see it because he was trying to hoe around and go to different places. I think I'm only on the first episode and like the first few scenes where he's trying to go with his friend, I believe, because he's getting married. He's like, oh, I'm going to go out there to see these new ladies because the woman in Chang'an are like old news to him, basically. I don't remember what he said exactly, but that's like kind of saying what he did. But with no aspirations, no direction, no ambition, his life is... His life was one of the idleness and I don't, I can't speak English. We're going to leave that word alone. But all, the, all that changed on the day he first laid eyes on Fu Ro. Why is she so special? I don't know. Um, the daughter of a loyal local merchant. Fu Ro never imagined she would be the one to inspire greatness in anyone, but when she meets Xiang Tu Mu for the first time, that's exactly what happens. Instantly enamored by the far superior Fu Ro, Chu Mu is suddenly aware of his own shortcomings and vows to make himself worthy of Fu Ro's, Fu Ro's love. Uh, dedicating himself to his studies, Chu Mu uh, grows and knowledge and maturity, hoping that someday he could be worthy enough to ask Fu Ro's hand in marriage. As time passes, he finds himself falling in his father's footstep, uh, volunteering to selfishly serve the. Shouldn't be, I guess, selfishly. Maybe he is focused on himself and his little love. I thought it would be like unselfishly, like, oh, I'm going to work hard for the country, but oh well. Served the country by defending the coast against a band of marauding pirates. While Chu Mu's journey towards greatness sets him down one path, Fu Ro sets out on another, leaving her family to become a master weaver in the royal palace. She is soon finding herself entangled in the palace schemes that could put her not only, but her entire family in danger. Ooh, jeez, gibberish. Walking uh, past the often crafts. Chumu and Furo must rely solely on their wits and skill to overcome ever-growing number of enemies and obstacles that stand in the way. 
as always, which so much opportun- opposition um, before them do these two destined souls have what it takes to save their country and their love. Ow. Uh, it said it was based on a screenplay by a, a web novelist. Final Court Lady. Yep, a historical adventure romance drama. Yeah, I don't really have anything to say bad about it at all. Are they almost done with it? Probably. Someone looks depressed and someone's locked up. Probably like the drama I need. <laughs> Well, I mean, I have enough drama I was working at my job as it is. Thankfully, the person that caused all the drama majority and talked about me on the walkie to another manager, even though she's a manager herself, um, finally quit. So I finally get to relax and not be so tense. And I could just enjoy fake drama instead of reality. (laughs) Um, But I really don't have anything bad to say about it because yeah let's see yeah I'm only a few minutes into the first episode I think I'm really gonna like the design of it because it looks more based on Tang Dynasty style of it like you have there's dramas that flavored the time that they're uh acting in but this one looks like it's really put in and set in the times of the Tang Dynasty And everybody's wearing it, like, I think more so the hairstyles because the hairstyles are vastly different than other ones you see in the Tang Dynasty that were there, that are done in that time. But I really, I think I'm going to love the styling and because it's just going to fit more of the story that is set in Tang. And Tang was, like, big deal, one of the big deals in history and China's history, like the first emperor and the Qin dynasty when that first started, then the Han dynasty, and then because they lasted for 200 years, and then I think they went to warring, I don't remember, I think it's warring after Han, and then after that, and then Tang comes a few, like, I think maybe a few emperor empires down the line. And then they have their golden age during Tang. So, I want to see how they take the setting of Tang. Because I read, what you call it, the ballad, is also during Tang Dynasty. So, I preferred the costuming so far in this one. Because it looks more realistic compared to that. I think they spent more time on... The outfits more so than the ballad and what I'm watching. But we'll see. I think this is going to be good. I think I'm going to like this more than the ballad from what I'm seeing so far. I feel like this is going to be a lot more interesting. Because the main character, she's not going to be, at least in the harem, she's going to be sewing like in... What is the... There's another one where... Well, she married. Well, she doesn't marry. She's not allowed to marry because he was married before. But she takes over and she was in the court and everything. I don't remember that drama. I remember. I remember watching it. I don't remember the name. But it's kind of like that. Where she's not in the harem, but she's more in the part of working for the empire. But she's just sewing. And I really like to see the outfit. So I think I'm going to really like this. But, yeah, this is what I'm watching right now. I don't think I got anything else to say. Um, Let's go here. I'm going to see what my drama list has on here. Oh, they got a different picture. She looks funny there. How many episodes do I have to watch? I love how, like, I always try to figure out how many episodes there is, even though I watch, like, uh, Empress in the Palace was, like, 80 episodes, and the Empress of China, which is, like, also 80 episodes, 
so this is only 55 so this is not going to be too long and I think what you call it the ballad's only like 40 something but I feel like that one's going to stress me out but we'll see um that's really it I don't know if I'll have a drama review out I'm probably not going to record it today but I'll probably just go down the line of dramas I watched beforehand and just give a review of it. But I'll see you guys whenever I make a next video. But bye. One, two, three.